Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how to export your WordPress content, which that you can then use to import into another WordPress site or a different uh, website software. So here we are on the WordPress dashboard, and to export, all you have to do is go to the Tools section on the left-hand side, hover over it, a menu opens, and then you click on Export. On the next page, you choose a bunch of options. By default, you'll have all content, posts, and pages as options. The current theme that I'm running adds these four options down below, Fusion Sliders, Portfolio, FAQs, Elastic Sliders. You may not have any options there, or you may have some different ones, depending on the themes and plugins installed on your site. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to export the pages. And you can then choose further options. You can choose the authors. Currently there's only one author on the site, so we're just going to choose all. You can choose the date range when the, when the pages would have been created, the ones you want to export. And you can choose which status they have. So if you only want pages that are in draft, you can just export those ones. So there's quite a few options. The same thing applies to the posts, there's a lot of options there. And then when you add extra functionality from, from, uh, from themes or plugins, there may or may not be options under these. And as you can see, for, for these options that I have here, there are no extra attributes. So like I said, we're just going to export the pages, and we're going to do all of them. And then when you're ready, you just click on the Download Export File button at the bottom. And it'll take a few seconds, and it will generate an XML file. And the XML, or XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, which is a, it, these files are created using a set of rules that make the files both human readable and machine readable. So they're pretty handy. And I'm just going to save the file. And there it is. Right up here in the downloads, we have our XML file, which in another video, I will show you how to import. And in yet another video, we're actually going to take a look at this file more closely to see what's inside and show you how you can change various things if you wanted to do so. Thanks for watching. This is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get all these awesome new videos for free. Like us on Facebook and Twitter or follow us on Twitter. Share this stuff and let's up your WordPress game. And be sure to check out our blog, wplearninglab.com, where we write daily about all things WordPress. I'll talk to you soon.